Hello Capricorn, welcome to your October weekly reading. Hope you're amazing. So what we're going to do is go into some general energy, um, specifically love and then uh, money and career on this side, okay? <laughs> so Capricorn, let's see. Actually, let's do Oracle cards first for you. I feel like your career, um, <laughs> career or goals, whatever you have set in your mind, Capricorn, to do is is getting successful. Okay, like it's picking up some sort of pace for you, um, and that's a good thing. That's that's a good thing. Okay, um, I feel like you're reconnecting with what's important to you this week, and that's what's going to help you do better, especially if you've been kind of lost or just kind of floating around or. I feel like you're reconnecting with whatever your purpose is for the goal that you're trying to achieve or what it is that you're trying to do right now, okay? So, let's see. Happy success. And ancestors, okay? So, your three cards. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles. See, it all has to do with your goals here, what you're trying to achieve, uh, making money, things like that. I feel like money is on your mind. Becoming successful is on your mind. Um, and this week, you're taking your opportunities. You know, I feel like you're making things work for you this week. You're attempting to put things into order. And I feel like that's working out. You're balancing things. A lot of you are putting yourself on a budget. You know, especially with this Queen of Pentacles, this is you, Capricorn, like using your resources for the best way that you can use them to make things happen for yourself. Uh, and a lot of that is cutting some things out or doing some things that are not productive. This could be emotionally as well. OK, mm -hmm. but like doing some things that quitting some things that are not productive to you to get to where you're going, because you're seeing this week as an opportunity to grow your life, make your life better, or be more sustainable, I guess you can say, okay? So, love. You have instinct first. I feel like you're trying to listen to your heart about something. Um, it feels like you need to make a decision. But I feel like there's something else involved here, Capricorn, with the gossip card. Uh, the other thing that's involved, I feel like, is other people's opinions or the right thing to do. Um, I don't know why I'm getting that, but let's see. So we have the Ace of Wands first. The Empress and the Eight of Swords. So I feel like with this Empress first, this week, someone is trying to make you happy. I feel like somebody wants to get on your good side, Capricorn. Not quite sure why. They may just want you back, okay? Because I feel like this person has a lot that they want to say. I don't know if you're listening to them or not. I feel like you hear them. That's what I'll say. I feel like you are... Seeing that someone wants to start something with you, um, I don't feel like you're expressing or following up with them 100%, to be completely honest with you, um, but I feel they see the, useful, the usefulness of you in their life, okay? Um, so you see this opportunity coming in. That's what I say. <laughs> you see an opportunity coming there for you this week and someone sees how much they want to be with you but I don't feel like you're saying anything you know this is this feels like you're keeping yourself safe Capricorn it feels like you're kind of keeping a distance as much as you can yeah I feel like you want to see the type of work this person is going to put in and if they're going to recognize you as 
mm, a strong individual you are, you know, um, you're in this energy right now of the a big boss energy. Like you're doing your life the way that you feel like you need to do your life and nothing's the matter with that, but you're not going to let some com- someone come in and shake that up, right? I feel like you're following your goals this week. That's what's important to you. That's what's working for you. And that's what you're doing. Um, and you're not going to let something come from the side and kind of clip you out of that energy right now. I just don't feel you doing that. Okay. So let's get into your money and career. Intuition and manifestation is the first thing. Uh, I feel like you have a lot of inspiration to move forward this week. Yeah, conscious steps. You have a lot of inspiration to move forward and you're making it happen. And that was in your general energy. You're really trying to achieve your goals and you're doing the things that you need to do. You're making the choices that you need to make to be successful. And you're on a really good path to do that. Okay. So we have the seven of cups. The page of wands. There's the new energy. And the sun. There's the success. Okay. So I almost want to say you're blindsided by success, but blindsided is the wrong word. I feel like you're just going with it. You don't really see it right now, okay? I feel like you don't really see it. Um, you have dreams and aspirations of what it is that you want to accomplish, Capricorn. And I feel like um, you're going to put your energy into accomplishing that and to making that happen and to being successful. You, you know where your success is going to come from, and that's what you're focusing on. I feel like for some of you, you're starting new projects or doing things a bit differently, going down a different route. Um, you are inspired by something and it's driving you in that direction. OK, but it feels like something new is happening. Some of you may be some of you may be decluttering. OK, that, that literally could be that with these two cards. Um but it's all about achieving your accomplishments and making that happen. And this is a really good time to start something new this week. We have privileged lady, which came up in reverse. Immature woman. Yeah. You're stepping up your game, Capricorn. That's exactly what this looks like. It's like you have all these opportunities and you have all of this power inside of you and you realize that you have this power. You realize that you can do something special with it and make something happen with your life. And that's what it is that you're doing. It's like you're taking more mature steps to move towards those goals and to make those things happen for you. That is what's happening here. OK. <laughs> so. Thank you for being here, Capricorn. I love you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.